Hey, hi, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Cassie and today we are talking about one of my favorite things and that is books. But today we're going to do a couple book reviews. I'm going to update you on what I'm reading and what I will be reading here shortly because I do tend to read like series in chunks, you know. I do have to learn how to put my Kindle down. Now that I have the Kindle Fire, it's really hard to pick up my real books. And I love real books, but it's like convenient at night when I just want the light off to just read on this little sucker. It's so convenient that I'm like definitely more of like crime fiction mystery thriller i just recently started d diving into like more romance like books but they're still like that like mafia romances or just like a like crime romance the crime book i read was we'll get there we'll get there i'm jumping ahead i'm jumping ahead i get so excited when we talk about books so excited first i am gonna go over the books that i have read and finished and review those for you so last time we talked i think i believe i was just started the brutal birthright series so there is six books to this series um, I rate all of them five out of five stars. So far, The Brutal Birthright and Kingmakers, both by Sophie Lark. Those are amazing books. All of them. Every single one of them, I love. I love them. If they could just keep going forever, I wouldn't be sad. I 100% recommend that. That is a mafia romance series. I do think one of them might be like trigger warning worth, but the majority of them, I don't think they're like anything crazy. And then the next series I read was the Mind series, which is by... St. Abby, which is definitely a pseudonym or whatever they're called, and I remember seeing this person on TikTok, and they made a comment about how it's like stabby, like is the name, you know? So the Mind series that has five books in it, it all is the same couple, and you get both perspectives, female, male, which I love. I love that he is a behavioral analysis for the FBI, and she is a serial killer like what it's just crazy i was also watching criminal minds when i read that series and it definitely has like a criminal minds vibe to it i thoroughly enjoyed it i think that i think i would have like the first two books i kind of wish they didn't they were kind of short for me so i think i would say like four out of five stars just because i like longer books but then by the end of the series i was like this book series changed my life for the better i really like it i enjoy it it had a good twist in it it was like just enough romance you know i loved it you should check that one out if you like crime romances or like that like serial killer like book is good then i am still reading this is my issue with the whole kindle as i read all of the brutal birthright which is that's six books and then i read the five mind books and then i've already read two books in the next series that i'm going to tell you about but i still am reading the last of the house of night series i'm still reading redeemed i'm like halfway through and I'm trying to get better. I really do want to know what happens in it, but like I'm trying to get better about picking up the books. This is the last one to the series. I did get the four books in the spinoff series. So I'm still reading that. And then I am also reading the new rules of lifting for women. And this is obviously more so because I want to, so I have a couple like fitness personal training books that I want to start reading and like highlighting and getting through. I just put this in the kitchen so when like I'm sitting next to little Isaac while he's doing homework and stuff I can just whip this out or if I'm cooking and I want to whip it out like it's right there. So I started reading that this past week. I have read two of the Born in Blood Mafia Chronicles. I have read Bound by Honor and I read Bound by Duty. Written by Cora Riley. So this one has eight books in the series. We're looking it up on the Kindle. I love this thing. So far book one and book two, love them. I would give them five out of five stars for sure for book one. Book two, maybe like four out of five stars. I like, I didn't love him. So I think that was like a big downer because like he wasn't my favorite character. Both of these though, they are just the female perspective. They aren't both perspectives. So that was like getting used to that again because 
This is like the first books that I've read that weren't more than one perspective in a long time. I would also say maybe that would be why four out of five for the one, but the first book was super, super good. So definitely five stars for that one. They are, once again, mafia romances. So you kind of, if you get, you know, my drift on, reminds me of the shows like Power, Empire. What did we just watch? Snowfall. Like that like gangster savage kind of vibe to it. So if you like that kind of vibe, check them out. I do like them so far. I'm going to keep reading them, but I really need to try to read this book before I finish this whole series, which honestly, it might not happen. I might finish this series first. And then once I do finish the House of Night series, I did want to share with you where I'm going next for my real books. I read the first Detective Josie Quinn novel, which is Vanishing Girls, and I really, really loved it. I loved it so much that I went and I ordered the rest of the series. So I have all of them, and this second book is The Girl with No name. So I'm going to read this one once I finish The House of Night. That's going to be like my next real real book because it's not on the Kindle that I read and I'm really excited about it because I like besides the Mindfuck series I really have been reading more like mafia romance or fantasy for a long time so I've only had that little bit of crime and I love crime stuff. I love crime shows. I love crime books. I love crime podcasts. I love crime. Cl crime as a genre Give it to me, give it to me, you know? But that's it for my reviews and my updates on what I'm reading. As soon as I finish all the books, I'll even share reviews of like the new rules of lifting for women, you know? Cause even if you're just a trainee, I feel like it's really important to educate yourself when it comes to fitness. So if you're on your fitness journey like me, education is so important. So I'll definitely share reviews on those books too. And if you stuck with me, thank you, thank you. Please don't forget to give it a and also don't forget to click that subscribe button either so you never miss a new workout, a new vlog, a new video on my channel. And if you have any book recommendations that you feel like fit my vibe when it comes to books, let me hear them. Let me hear them because I'm always, I'm always in the market for some good books. I am. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next time.